What's happening, Polite Society? I hope you had a good week. Today, we're continuing our series on Islam. So let's delve in. Hello, everyone. If you're here for the first time, welcome to my channel. I'm Alan. Last time, we took a look at Surah 4, 171. And I pointed out that when the Quranic author uses the phrase, say not three, or do not say three, he is indicating that Christians should cease from worshiping three gods. Allah alone is to be worshipped as the one true God. Of course, Christians do not believe in three gods, but even putting that off to the side for a moment, I mentioned that according to the Quran, the third God was not who you might think. So let's reveal the identity of this third. Once again, I'm going to be primarily utilizing the scholarship of Dr. James White. In Surah 517, it states, They indeed have disbelieved who say Allah is the Messiah, son of Mary. Say, who has the least power against Allah? If he had willed to destroy the Messiah, son of Mary, and his mother, and everyone on earth, Allah's is the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth. So, a couple of things. Now, this is not the language a true Christian in either the 7th century or in the 21st century would use in affirming the deity of Christ. We would not say, God is the Messiah. Jesus does not exhaust the being of God. We would say Christ is truly God and truly man, and the Son, who is eternally divine, took on human flesh in the person of Jesus Christ. Since we are being directly addressed in what is considered a sacred volume for our Muslim friends, we must ask the question, why is it that a refutation of our faith utilizes language which we would find inaccurate, imbalanced, and strange? But we press on. In this text, Allah provides Muhammad and Muslims with a response that they may use when interacting with Christians who affirm the divinity of Jesus. They are told that Allah has the power to destroy Christ if he willed. But notice something curious here. Why is Mary also included? Remember the three mentioned earlier? The identity of the third will become clearer as we continue. In Surah 573 it states, They have disbelieved who say Allah is the third of three, when there is no God save one God. If they cease not what they say, a painful torment will fall upon those of them who disbelieve. So painful torment awaits those who disbelieve. And Christians are the audience in mind. Notice, the sign of unbelief is believing that Allah is the third of three. But a third of three what? Clearly, three gods. We know this because the affirmation of monotheism follows. There is no God but one God. But Christians do not believe that God is the third of three. We are unable to even identify our own position in this attempted refutation. Let's keep going. In Surah 574 through 75, it states, Will they not instead turn to Allah in repentance and seek his forgiveness? For Allah is forgiving, compassionate. The Messiah, son of Mary, was none other than a messenger, before whom messengers had passed away. And his mother was a saintly woman. They both used to eat food. See how we make the signs clear for them. Then see how they follow falsehood. Now, why mention that Mary ate food? I have never met a Christian who thought that Mary didn't eat food. In fact, Jesus ate food too. We see here who that third of the three is. Clearly, the author of the Quran believes that Christians believe that Mary is a divine being. Immediately, the thought of Rome comes to mind for some. Now, I with full force reject all of the Marian dogmas. I do not believe in the Roman doctrines of the perpetual virginity, the Immaculate Conception, or the Bodily Assumption. But having said that, Roman Catholics do not believe that Mary is a divine being. And certainly at the time of the writing of the Quran, none of the Marian doctrines had even developed to the level that they are at now. But it is clear that the author of the Quran is making the argument that Christians believe that Mary is a god. If someone were to say to me, Mary ate food, my response to them would be, what is it that you think that I believe? And Surah 5, 116 to 117 leaves little doubt that the author of the Quran misunderstood Christian theism. It says, And when Allah said, O Jesus, son of Mary, did you say to mankind, Take me and my mother for two gods other than Allah? He said, Transcendent are you. It was not mine to say that of which I had no right. In saying it, then you knew it. You know what is in myself but I know not what is in yourself. It is you, only you, 
who know well all hidden things. I told them only that which you commanded me, saying, Worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. I was a witness over them while I dwelt among them, and when you took me. You were the watcher over them. You are witness over all things. Now, clearly here there is no question that what is being indicted is polytheism. There is nothing within the pages of the Quran which accurately deals with the actual Christian doctrine of the Trinity. Clearly in the author's mind, he believed that Christians are guilty of tritheism. They are worshipping Allah as one God, Mary as a God and Allah's consort, and Jesus as a God who is the biological offspring of Allah and Mary, as Surah 4, 171 indicates. But that's not what Christians believe. The Quran's misunderstanding and misrepresentations of what Christians believe demonstrate that the Quran is of human origin and not divine. The majority of the information in this video is derived from Dr. James White's book, What Every Christian Needs to Know About the Quran. I would definitely recommend that title to you. I've provided a link in the video description below. So let's be in prayer for the Muslim people. Let's pray that the Spirit will work in their hearts so that they will embrace the true Jesus as he is freely offered in the gospel. And ladies and gents, if you want to share your own thoughts, be sure to do so in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content here, you can subscribe by clicking on the icon on the bottom right. Then you can hit the bell for notifications. I upload a new video every Wednesday and every Saturday. Have an awesome week, and for my brothers and sisters in the Lord, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all always. I will see you all in the next video. God's blessings on your week.